it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be back on my dedicated server. Uh, so, after I finished recording the video last night, uh, I pretty much got off then. Uh, we finished, we did some more combining, me and JT, and then uh, I got off. We both got off, actually. Uh, and then they got on... Uh, some of the other guys got on, I think, like last night, and, oops, I didn't raise that, uh, last night and this morning, I think, and they finished up harvesting, and I see they got, uh, this field ripped, and then they, uh, had the cultivator started here, and so I'm just kind of picking up, um, so I guess I'll just kind of, I didn't really you know, was just kind of focusing on combining yesterday. So I didn't really give a tour of our equipment. So I'll do that now. Uh, here we got my K30, the deep sea blue version. Um, over here we've got the uh, Ursus, the in-game Ursus 15014. Is that actually correct? 15014. Yep. And then they bought uh, John Deere 2100. I bought this yesterday for, um, you know, after the video, we traded in those two foreign combines on two New Holland TR 99s with uh, headers. And then, um, oh, I see they also bought uh, the drill and then another 2100. Uh, we should buy a pressure washer. That way we have one of those. Um, we can put that next to there. Uh, so then I see they bought the 6200 drill or cedar, whatever. And then there's another 2100 there. Uh, they also picked up the S2600. And then we got the uh, 7810, I think it is, or 7610. 7810. This has duels and Demco tanks that are selectable. And then um, here we have the Puma 240 CVX with this little cultivator behind it. And uh, we are playing on the Knudsen farm map. I am the only one on right now. Uh, the others are not around. Uh, one is working on downloading the mods and then... Uh, let's see. Yeah, Austin's working on downloading the mods, and then JT. Uh, I don't know where where he's at. Uh, yeah, don't have a message back from him yet, so he is not on. But uh, that's all right. No big deal there. Wait, got a bunch of cat hair all over my steering wheel somehow. Cat's never in my room. I hope. My door got left open last night, so she might have been. So yeah, we'll just kind of work on some cultivating here. So yeah, last night uh, in the video you saw we were having some lag issues on the server here. Don't know what that was from, and now it's all fine and dandy, so. Uh, and I actually got a message from JT last night. Uh, yeah, he went back on last night at least. And, uh, um... He said that there was no leg at all, so that's nice. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, so I think um, I'm going to save this. This is field one, is it not? Uh, yes, this is field one. So we'll just save that as one. I 
Alright, so this I can do quite a bit of in cab, especially having GPS, but That's no big deal. There's the uh, hot air balloon again. And JT definitely got a kick out of that yesterday. He suddenly realized it and was like, Whoa, what in the heck? <laughs> that was funny. I was like, what? Oh, it's a blimp. I was like, oh, you mean the hot air balloon? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know Austin said he was downloading the mods and he said he might join once that's done. Uh, I'm only going to play long enough oh, uh, long enough to record and then I'm going to go do some other stuff and then I might um, record a couple episodes of Giant Machines. Um, I've been playing that game some and it's a lot of fun. And I might start doing some recordings of it. Oop, there's some lag. So yeah, then yesterday we were using the uh, GPS wheel mode. And then... Oh, what the world? Yeah. Uh, evidently here in multiplayer, you know, I'm turning my wheel, I'm pressing A and D, and my wheels are not turning. I turn that off and my wheels turn. We figured that out yesterday. I mean, I've used it before in single player and never had that issue before. So that's kind of funny that it uh, does that. It is kind of annoying because you know, you'll be sitting there and you'll try to turn and oh, that's on, gotta take it off. But uh, it is definitely nice. Uh, it stays seems to stay a lot straighter and you know, like right now I can turn this thing as I please and I could screw it up big time if I bump it at all so we'll go ahead and go back in cab here oh evidently you're not gonna go down there we go Let's see, so we just have that little section there, and then field four needs to be plowed, which that one is going to be one for when everybody else is on. So I think after this, we'll just kind of get some equipment cleaned up and organized, and, uh, and then go from there. We're going to get all of that. Uh, pretty much. That little bit I'm not worried about at all. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to do a second headland around here. Just open this up a little more. Uh-oh. I think, yep, I was just going to say, I think I'm going to get disconnected here. Uh, 
<clears throat> so we'll just go ahead and get loaded back up. I'm gonna see if the other any of the other guys are coming on here. Um, and phone cord is being dumb here. I think we'll just go ahead and turn on our lights here and I'm just going to go ahead and open this up a little more, make turning a little bit nicer. I think all we need is that back light on. Yeah, this is a neat map. I remember playing it not long after it first came out here for 15. And um, I know I played a lot of it. <clears throat> we were sitting there deciding on what map we wanted to play. And I sat there and was kind of looking around. I just kind of went and searched um, like FS15 medium maps or something like that in Google and sat there looking through the images and this one came up I was like you know that that'd kind of be a good a good map for you know what we plan to do you know to do the medium to you know the small to medium old style equipment and you know eventually maybe some newer stuff and I'm pretty sure this map has animals yeah, and so we want to get into that eventually as well, but we got to start where we're at and build up.
say we'll go ahead and finish cultivating this field and then we'll get uh, all the equipment cleaned up and parked and then uh, that'll probably be the video and then uh, the next episode uh, we'll do some multiplayer plowing with the 2100s Slow down, tractor. I think the 7810 would run this pretty well, too. I think maybe I might put... Let's see, what's the horsepower? Uh, this has 148. This is 227. Okay. So I think we'll put the Ursus on this cultivator after we're done here. We'll put the Ursus on this and then we'll put this and the 7810 on the 2100s. Um, since they're the more powerful tractors, I think the 7810 has a reasonable horsepower. Oh, yeah, 370 horsepower. So to run that. Uh, would be a good idea and my GPS kind of screwed up a little bit but that was probably me because I was still driving as I was checking the store menu and then little snippets that we miss aren't really a big deal Yeah, right now, really the only older equipment we have is this cultivator and the planter. But we're more so going for the small to medium aspect of it. So we got three more passes, I, I'm going to say. The nice thing about these Pumas too is that it has front loader mounts, so we can buy we could buy a loader, put it on here, and then we could because um, this map has a feature where you can um, if you go in these sheds and stuff. Oh, they bought a grain cart too. Okay. Um, you know, if you go in the sheds, like here's the canola, so you can come in here with a front loader and load it up and dump it in your truck or whatever. Okay, what all do we own? So we have the grain cart. Got that, got that, got that. Okay. Huh. Cool. I think, uh, yeah, so we'll do some yard rearranging. I'm just going to stop the timer and just record until... Until we're done with this field and until we're done rearranging the farm and whatnot. It's definitely a lot nicer having a dedicated server. Because, um, you know, the other guys, they can play anytime they want. They don't have to rely on me, you know, being around to, you know, host it or, you know, have to worry about me sending them the save game files and all that stuff so they can host it and whatnot. You know, this way we can just run it. Uh, I got three months with, um, I can't remember how many slots I got. I know it was just enough for all of us, so, um, but, <clears throat> and then I got, uh, I added extra space, so, you know, in the future, we're gonna 
eventually move to different maps eventually you know bigger maps different whatever and have more mods different mods that kind of thing so you know added so that way you can have more than one gig of space which was a good idea because right now we have 1.45 gigs of space uh, in mods so um, upgrading that was definitely a good idea <clears throat> and then I also added in uh, where it will automatically back up um, back up the save game twice a day so that's another uh, thing that was nice to add Alright, so last pass here. So I think uh, the only things that we need to buy yet are a sprayer. Yeah, just a sprayer. And then that's all that we gotta buy. Now we could buy stuff by a corn planter and corn heads too, but um, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do corn quite yet. Go ahead and shut GPS off there. And all right, so we'll get this thing folded up, and then we'll get it washed off and parked. Fold cultivator. Oh, they only rented this. Okay, so what do we all got rented? Uh, just the Puma. Oh, okay, just the Puma and this. They could have just bought it, I guess, but. So we have these for. They must have rented it for a day. I'm gonna guess. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this washed off. So I can actually turn that up just a little bit. I had it down before because of the talking and stuff. I'm talking on Discord. Those windows nice and shiny. Okay, now I'll get this thing cleaned up. I think it's cleaning. Yeah. Alright, see, can I make it over to the 2100? Yes, I can. So then we'll get this guy cleaned up. Boy, there's a lot of dirt on this thing. It kind of sucks that uh, he didn't add dirt to the decals. And then the decals all show up yet. But, whatever. It is a Reaper mod, so it's not guaranteed to be the best. So then we gotta wash off the combines as well. The headers, unfortunately, do not get dirty. So that kind of sucks. Let's drive through the hedge. Because who cares? Definitely not me. <laughs>
So in the 2100s, we're going to take to the farmyard. What the heck? Whoa. That could have been bad. Huh. I don't get why this thing's making a whistling sound. It's kind of crazy. And we will back this in here. Whoa. If I can get it to back in nicely. If I can actually drive. <laughs> That's the other thing, too. Okay, and then we're gonna also move the grain cart. Whoa! Oh, I thought I could miss that. I guess not. Let's see, the grain cart looks pretty clean, so they mustn't have used it much. If at all. <laughs> Okay, then we'll uh, we'll hook on to the drill, and then move that over a little bit, and then we'll put the headers next to it. Slide it up here. Technically, this thing is in planting mode, but it's a lot easier to drive it or to move it and pull it and whatnot when it's like this. That's what I've found, at least. Okay, so then we'll just leave this guy here for now. And then we'll take care of these combines. Oh, not higher. Okay, come on. Why will you not drive? There we go. Don't want to get too close. This guy cleaned up. Make sure we get cleaned up up right here. Okay, I think that one's good to go. So then let's get these doors opened up. Oof, yeah. Those are some goofy doors. <laughs> In terms of how they're set up. Whew. And this thing is just barely going to fit. <laughs>
Okay, and then we'll get that closed off. And we'll grab this one. Wanted to do that just and get that uh, that bar on again. Cause I think that we might do canola again, just because that's kind of the most pain crop. So to just start out, I think you know, like while we're still starting out, that'd probably be best the best crop to do. Make the most bang for our buck. I get the most bang for our buck. Okay, and that one's clean. This one wasn't very dirty. We gotta get the middle doors opened. Definitely can't open more than one door at a time. So then we will put the grain truck in the last slot, and then the tractors will just park. Um, somewhere in the farm in the farm yard so we'll get this one closed and this one opened and that's where this thing will go Okay, we'll get that closed. We'll go ahead and grab this. And we'll just pull, use this to pull the 2100 over to wash it. And then we'll bring it over. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and then we will go ahead and unhook. And we'll hook this on to the cultivator. And then we'll get these parked in the farm. Okay, we'll just leave this guy hooked up. And this can go into the farm. I've never heard it make this kind of wind whistling noise before. It's kind of funny.
Okay. Go ahead and grab this. Wow, is the camera far back. Might have to adjust that. <laughs> Okay, so we got that packed in there. And we'll just kind of nose this up to that. And then we're set. Alrighty, guys. I think that'll do it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.